Yo, what's up guys? Today we're watching Coraline. Happy Halloween. This video is coming out on Halloween. And if it doesn't, I'm making this video age really poorly right now. And if you want us to watch other creepy animated movies, comment them down below and get this video to 15,000 likes. And also check out the Patreon for the uncut commentary to watch the full uncut video. Boom! Subscribe. <laughs> Dude, this is literally me when I like when I cut my hand on the beans. Holy shit, and they give me the stitches. You're like, ow, my hand. So you rip your eyeballs out of your head. I rip my eyeballs out and then start kissing. Oh my god, this is terrifying. Typical day at the orthodontist. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't I didn't really know how to sew a button, but now I do. Like I'm watching this and I'm like, oh. Well, this is fucking psychopathic because they were like, we're gonna stop motion animate a scene of sewing. Something that is already hard to do. This isn't stop motion, this is real. This is real motion, dumbass. This looks like the Faulty Towers building. Is that Fortnite or something? Faulty Towers is literally a place in Fortnite. <laughs> it's an old British comedy. Core made a Fortnite reference? What? <laughs> no, I would never. I would never. Is Coraline like neurodivergent or is she like cool? Are those mutually exclusive? <laughs> I'll let you decide. Wyborn definitely is. Oh, Wyborn is the fucking go to this film. No one told me this movie was gonna be scary. I was scared as shit of this movie as a kid. It would come on the TV all the time and it would get to the part where she goes to the other dimension and I would skip the channel because I was scared of the button eyes. It scared me every fucking time. This movie never really freaked me out. I got nightmares watching Doctor Who, but like I just fucked with this. You used to eat ants, like nothing freaked you out, man. And if I'm a water witch? then where's the secret well? You're standing on it, you're standing on it. Duh, that's where the movie ends. They don't know that. You're like spoiling it for the characters in the movies. You're like, bro, that's where you're gonna be at the end. What'd you get saddled with? I wasn't saddled with anything. Look at him scratch himself. He's got like dirt and sticks in his hair. I didn't realize how filthy this child is. YB's got the fucking like cryptic riz. It's crazy. Oh, I definitely heard someone. Why were you born? Whoa, she's so mean. I forgot how fucking mean she is in the beginning of the movie. Well, she's like a 12 year old girl, bro. That's when <laughs> when human beings are at their worst. She's like if Lilo never met Stitch. Wyborn is her Stitch. She's from Michigan, that's why. Ooh, yikes, makes sense. She's in Flint. That's why she was looking for water, the dowsing rod. Surely there's non-polluted water somewhere. Hey, Dad. Oh my god, it's the meme! Yay! The Michigan State sweater is hilarious. <laughs> Poor line. What program is he writing in? What the fuck is he writing in? He's on the first computer right now. He's on the first computer. That's the IBM 3100 or something like that. So, explore it. Go out and count all the doors and windows. There's definitely a lot of lead paint. Puff it all in. Get a good whiff of all that ammonia. Coraline watches Bluey and cries every night, not gonna lie. Like, cause her parents do not, like, appreciate her like those fucking dogs do. Ew, ew, what are those things? What kind of fucking psychopath is Coraline? Bitch smacks it with her hand. Like you said, Jack, he's a 12 year old girl. It defies logic. Detroit too. <laughs> That's the saddest fucking snow globe. <laughs> There's just guns in each enclosure. There's a gun held up to the the gorilla enclosure. Like what the fuck is happening in the Detroit Zoo? <laughs> Try some of the chard. You need a vegetable. It looks more like slime to me. This is kind of fucked up. Slime. Like, having parents who are writers is like, that's a terrifying life. You must be starving every day, dude. No food in the house, no power. Look at what they're eating. What are they eating? What the fuck is chard? <laughs> this mother doesn't know what chard is. Get a load of this guy. Don't forget about me, guys. Okay? Like, her friends are mad ugly. Like, let's be real about that. Is anyone not ugly in this movie? <laughs> What are you talking about? Other Mother's a baddie, and you'll see it in a second. Horrorline and Other Mother are like the only like not like hideous people in the universe. Oh, and that sexy singing fat lady. Oh yeah, the one with the giant fucking floppers. Oh my god, I love her. Coraline is such a rat girl, like, let's be honest here. That's like a goddamn, like, mouse or something. That's not a rat. Same thing. Like, that's literally the same fucking thing. It's a, what are they called? A fucking gerbil? It's like a hyena or it's like a fucking... <laughs> it's a hyena! It's a specific kind of thing because they have the really tall tails. That's Eminem's asshole. Because Eminem was shoving the gerbils up his fucking... <laughs> oh my fucking god. 
I literally switched the channel. I watched Johnny Test instead. What channel did this air on? This has to be like this is on YTV all the time, bro. No one knows what that means. YTV was just Nickelodeon for Canadians. The banger. I like how the other other parents are also a tough profession to make it in. Like the dad is a musician instead of a writer. <laughs> so just like a broke motherfucker, but he's fun. He's more fun than a writer. She had one bite of her food and then they gave her an entire cake. She doesn't need this cake, bro. Oh, I didn't know you guys were experts at raising children all of a sudden. Oh, we're better than these motherfuckers. You guys should have children with each other right now to prove it. How do you know we don't? There's a lot of theories with this movie. And one of the theories that is like a kind of like a community favorite is that in this scene coming up, Coraline actually shits the bed before she goes to sleep. That's implications on the whole plot, yeah. Well, it's because all the important characters shit the bed. The cat shits his bed. These kids definitely shit the bed. Like, look at them. They shit the bed. And other mother shits the bed too. It's actually like a theory. It's Look it up on YouTube. It's called Shitting Bed Theory, Coraline. Okay, so here, here, right here. Oh my God, I heard it. <laughs> I'm over this bit already. I was over this bit halfway through you describing it. Comment a cookie if you heard it. <sighs> Whoever designed Mr. Bombinski, I don't know, man. It's, it's so disgusting. It's so funny. I don't think it's disgusting. I feel like this is, it, it has its own appeal. You know what I mean? Like he could be in the NBA. He's got a crazy body. And I feel like there's like a certain appeal to like someone's probably into that. He'd be in the Harlem Globetrotters or something, bro. He'd be like, he'd be doing funny tricks. They give like so much attention to make sure that his stomach always wobbles a little bit after he settles into position. It's like they're, they're giving him the anime titties like jiggle right now. It's all bricked up. It's all bricked up? <laughs> What? Wait, what did she say? The great Bobinski is always bricked up. That's his secret. That's how he that's how he moves like that. Bobinski is a sleeper agent. One day, like Putin is gonna say into the TV like some secret phrase and he's instantly going to snap, okay? He's gonna say cotton candy hand job and Bobinski's gonna turn into a fucking attack helicopter. Ah, oh, sweet departed angels. That is so fucked. I completely forgot about this. I feel like that's something a rat owner would do, though. Ugh. Yeah, that's rat activity right there. This movie's very rat owner. Coded. And be very, very careful. <gasps> she knocked her over with her tits. <laughs> That's the power of breast implants, bro. I mean, like, if I got breast implants, like, I would use it as a weapon. Why doesn't the U.S. government, like, instead of buying guns, we just, like, get every fucking U.S., like, military to have breast implant, like, giant fucking fake tits and start slapping people? That's like the fucking Dragon Ball, like, training thing. Like, if you get the giant tits, like, that's weighing you down. Do so you naturally become stronger? <laughs> I think YB has the tism. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 100%. But he's got the goofy riz, though. Look at him. He's like kind of goofy with it. He's got the I don't shower riz. He's got the I smell like shit. You can smell me from an hour away. He's got that I forgot to take my Ritalin pills this morning riz, you know? This sequence is so fucking cool. I love this sequence. No, it isn't, dude. This scene sucks. <laughs> this shit is gorgeous ology. I'm not gonna lie. Holy shit. This is the first time a kid has ever thought nature was cool. It's fake nature too, so it's not even real. Like, <laughs> we need to make fake nature so children can enjoy it. Humanity. <laughs> That's actually terrifying, though. That's not funny. It's contextual. I just want you to say that over any comment that we make. It's contextual. <laughs> Oh, this is why born if he took his normal pills. Yeah. So if he finally took his meds. Is this movie anti-medication? I think so. I can't assume that like the people making this movie were on medication because it's fucking insane looking and so creative. Yeah, no, a medication robs you of your creativity. <laughs> this is so such bad, terrible things to be saying. Um, sorry, this is a joke. Talk to your psychiatrist. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, this kind of goes hard though. I want to hear someone sample this for a track. This sounds like the Earl Sweatshirt East song. <laughs> it does sound like that. Take an Earl voice and drop that shit on it. Introducing Earl Sweatshirt. Wow, Earl looks a bit different. I don't know, where did his hair go? They turned Earl into a Smurf. <laughs> There's a lot of Coraline POV in this. I did not remember that. It really makes you feel like you're Coraline. It really makes you feel like you're a 12 year old girl. I don't want to feel like that. That makes me uncomfortable on many levels. You're Olivia Rodrigo Stan. You can't, you already feel like that. Shut up! <laughs> Straight men can like her too, okay? <laughs> She's practically naked. 
kid. Cover your eyes, Jack. This is the best scene of the whole movie. Why would I cover my eyes? This is peak fiction right here. Cover my eyes? I'll unzip my pants. The, me in the Ice Spice outfit, like right here. Holy shit. Like, not only is it like pushing the line, but they have Coraline actively say she is practically naked. Cinema used to be different, man. We don't, we don't have movies like this anymore. Oh my God. A big bottom sea with- I don't even know what to say. This is insane. There, nothing needs to be said. Nothing needs to be said. I'd give a standing ovation, but I can't do that right now. Jesus, oh my God. Would you, would you? Of course, with the fish head on, with the fish head on. I'm looking for some fish head. Can I get a fish? And can you make it last forever? <laughs> oh, this part. Dude, I remember this part. Oh my God. So many kids like sew buttons into their eyes after this movie came out. Yeah, just painfully into their eyelids. Vermilion or... Chartreuse. Those aren't real colors. I don't know what you're talking about. It's either red, black, or yellow. Like, what? I, no one knows what chartreuse is, dude. Give it up. They showed us, though. They showed us. But that's not a real color, and I have deuter deuterology or whatever. I can't see colors. Deuteragonist? What? What's stopping the other mother from just sewing buttons? Because she needs consent. The other mother might be evil, but she still believes in the power of consent. And that's what makes her better than Russell Brand. Exactly. <laughs> bro needs to hit the row machine. Like, how can you not open that door? Weakest child, bro. Go fucking hit deadlifts if you can't open that shit. She got no fucking back muscles. Where's the other mother? I wanna go home. Oh, she's starting Runaway by Kanye. <laughs> <laughs> Dun. Dun. What you don't understand about that scene is that the note in the piano that he played was the same pitch in which he started his next sentence. It was sort of like a thing only that musicians would understand. Only Kanye would understand it. Did Kanye watch Coraline? It was like, I'm literally Coraline. You telling me they don't look at me like the motherfucking glitch? Coraline was the glitch. Something's wrong. Oh, this is so cool. Oh yeah, this part's so sick. Oh shit, it is the glitch. Core, you were right. You said that. No, of course I did. What? Previously on Avatar. Coraline was the glitch. You're the glitch. She just walked into the fucking room for metamorphosis. Head across. Head up, head up. Cross, cross. Are you okay, Ethan? Hera, Hera. Cross, cross. No, he's not okay. Two. Oh my goodness, the neck. Look at that neck. Am I wrong, but she batter. She looks batter like this. In the behind the scenes like movie that I watched, it like showed a scene that in order for the transition scene to take place, they created a whole other doll just for that one scene where she transitions from one form to the other. Oh damn. And it has like a crank under the shirt in the back. I'd be cranking other mother like crazy. I'd be cranking it. Boo. Orphans. Or dead children. Boo hoo. This part I never got as a kid because I'm like, why would I care about dead children? I would fast forward on the movie because I just don't really care. Yo, shout out to all those kids who were aborted. <laughs> I forgot how they wrap up the movie. Like, how do they justify the parents, like, just never being present in her life? Because they were grinding, bro. Parents are on their grind set. It'd be great timing for, like, one of Jack's kids to walk into his room and be like, can we play? And you're like, get out of here. I'm watching cartoons. I'm grinding. I'm working. It says play. Souple. Suplex? You want me to suplex this glass right now? Well, she did it. Okay, this doesn't make any sense because early in the movie, she couldn't open the door because her back muscles weren't strong enough, but then she broke the glass really easily. Well, she's been working out between those two scenes. She broke the glass ceiling. Oh, that's how the other mother tortures her parents by sending them to the Detroit Zoo. No way. They leave a letter. Coraline, we were just at the Detroit Zoo for a weekend. We just, we didn't tell you, but sorry. We wanted to go to the San Diego Zoo to meet the characters of our favorite movie, but looks like other mother had different plans. <laughs> oh, she's beautiful. I love her like disgusting chest. What do you mean her disgusting chest? What's wrong with it? Her tits are in her like ab area. It's beautiful. The garden squash need tending, don't you think, pumpkin? What happened to him? She pegged him. You get pegged once and it's over. You lose all your power in the relationship once you let your 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 partner peg you. All your fucking motor functions cease to like function at all. Like you just can't even operate. If I lose, I'll stay here with you forever and let you love me. Yo, chat, have you ever eaten an uh, omelet or like a bacon or like a food? No one has eaten a bacon. I don't believe it for one bacon of a second. Would trade sister for bacon. She would trade her other mother for bacon. Her ass is still big though. Like she, she activated anorexia mode and her ass is still ginormous. Like that's so unrealistic for women. 
Interesting factoid. Did you know that this was actually based on Henry Selleck being assaulted by plants in 1985? Shut the fuck up. You know he's actually eaten by a well? You know Henry Wellick? <laughs> Henry Wellick? <laughs> That's what they started calling him because he got eaten by a well. Henry Wellick, bro. The other father literally turned into a gourd and then died. He turned into a phantasmagoria midoria euphoria. I wish that's how everyone died. We just turn into our vegetable of choice and then we just like, our family just eats us. Everybody has a fire stew. Turn me into a pumpkin, bro. Bake me into a nice pumpkin pie. If you come before you die, then would you be seedless? Isn't like you always come like when you're dead? <laughs> Do you think they're gonna make a live action Coraline? I fucking hope they do. It'd be so good. Dan Ortega plays Coraline. I could see Tim Burton directing a live action Coraline and it's sucking ass. You know Tim Burton says he doesn't like black people? I really wanted to say join the club on that one. <laughs> if you were funny, you would have said that. If you were funny, but sadly you're not. Wait, did Bob Binsky kill him? They turned YB into a flag. <laughs> the, the autism flag. That's the national autism flag right there. Is this what you're looking for? Your drunk Russian uncle is, is making you uncomfortable. Is that this whole- They're not related. They're not related. Okay. She's an American. He's a traitor. Different. She's like half Russian at least. Her dad looks Russian. Her name is Coraline Jones. Okay. <laughs> Dude, no wonder I was scared of this movie. This is fucking terrifying. There's so many rats and like- Did this enhance or start your fear of rats? It pro- it definitely enhanced it. It definitely enhanced it. This is a rat enhancing drug. You know I love you. She gets more beautiful every minute. I'm in love. She's looking like the hunchback now. What's with their, their obsession with hunchbacks in this movie? I like it. Even if you win, she'll never let you go. Death Note. That's Death Note. Oh, it's the apple. Oh, Ryuk. Oh my God. Next TikTok couple. Ryuk and other mother, bro. Oh my God. Is Coraline about to sing Death Note opening too? Do, do not say the end of that song, Coraline. There's some words you should not be saying. They're in the Detroit Zoo. No. They're not even sad because it's cold. It's just because it's Detroit. Please get us out of Detroit. I know we said we like 8 Mile, but not this much. <laughs> She's such a badass. I like watching women throw cats. Like, imagine Coraline's whole life. She, like, believes that, like, she saved her parents from this, like, this other dimension. And her parents, like, never believe her. It's such a weird dynamic she has with her family for the rest of the movie. It would be very hard to go about your everyday life after having an experience like this. Like, this is gonna change the way you see every single experience you ever have for the rest of your life. They don't got therapy out here. They're in the middle of nowhere. The closest thing she got therapy is the Mr. Bobinski. And that guy is, he's a terrorist. <laughs> By the power of dead children bestowed upon me, I shall close this door. From <laughs> the power of Planned Parenthood. Sometimes you have to sacrifice a couple kids to make an omelet. Oh my god! Okay, this would scar children. The editing of this actually does feel like a modern kind of horror thing that I'd see. Well, get yourself cleaned up. We're going out tonight. They were pretty weird about that. They were like, it seems like our daughter just had like a fucking schizophrenic episode. All right, we're going out tonight. What if she did have a schizophrenic episode? Schizophrenia theory. It's contextual. Dude, this movie's so sick. This is like Despicable Me with a little hand. It's like, I'm going to steal the moon. And then the hand's like, I'm not. And then Wiley comes down. He's like, 21. And then her mom's like, only a spoonful. You know, something's talking to you. It's like, it's like I'm swiping through the first second of t every TikTok and I just keep skipping them. So I get no contact. Autism prevails. He's kind of like the first autism creature. I want to be him, bro. Like, I know I'm like an adult, but like. You already are. I am? I'm really sorry. I didn't believe you about all this. Bro looks like he never developed the bones to support his head. The spine? The spine is the only one. Look at his fucking neck. His neck is too small to support his fat ass head. I think there's some cartilage on the side. He's like this. I'm Coraline Jones. I've got so much to tell you. Aw, what a cute ending. What a wholesome ending. Let me tell you about my insane magical journey that you won't believe a word of. Let me tell you about my schizo posting. I want the house to blow up. Is that so wrong? 
subscribe. What did they start saying subscribe at the end of movies? Like the movie ends and they're like, yo guys, if you enjoyed this movie, subscribe, slap that like button, leave a comment down below in the city. Actually just shout it out from your seat in the theaters, shout your comments out. If you liked Margot Robbie's feet, make sure to donate to the ticket booth. Alejandro Paredes, Atomic Leon, Bento, Kane Rivers, Kamalu, Cosmic Dega, Crystal Bunny, Daryl Herb, Diane Stalk, Frozen Spaghetti, Gabriel Granado, Gub Stargazer, Gummy Brain Rot, Gunny Snow Unison, Helio, I Pigged Brett Hand, Isaiah Alford, Kamui, Catherine Wright, Night VDV, Leaf, Lilac Moon, My Artistry, Master Nate, Matthew Byers, Mowrit, Solomon Graver, Native, Nick, Obama Gaming, Omega Waffles, Hitchin Witch, Him is Best Boy, Rain, Steven Sanchez, Sunny D, Tyrant Sills, Toast, Ultimate Parson, Bell Explicit, Victoria, Wyatt Lyme.